All properties that come with the advanced steel installation are stored in the aster base. For example, the materials are stored in a table called materials in the object property editor. So here's the situation. You have a material but it's not listed in the database. Well, today I'm going to show you how to add a new material and also append it to the preferred sizes. From our home tab, we're going to go to our advanced steel management tools. So once that's up, we're going to go to the category object property. And from there, I'll just expand the materials. So you want to write on the back, uh, per se, or find the material closest to what you're looking for. So here, if I select new, all of the values have disappeared, right? So from there, you can put in the name of the material that you want. And after you can put in a group, you have a choice of groups, whether it be concrete, steel, other. Right now, you are putting in the value of how you want it to be listed on the bill of materials, the name on drawing. So that's how you'll see it on the name of the drawing. From there, you put in your other fields. And after everything is ready, you will just hit the apply. So the apply just locks it into the database. So once we hit apply, we'll see that our new material see is now appended to the material list. So there we go. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go to the home tab and select the preferred sizes. So you'll see you have all types of um, objects you can add the material to. For this for this example, we're just going to add the material to the plate. So I'm going to scroll until I see the material that I've just created. Let's look for it. It's A106B. There we have it. I just select the heading and then the add. So right now we've just added A106B material to the preferred classes. I'm going to go back to the home tab and go to the defaults category where I will load settings in advance and this just locks in the changes that we've made and better still we're going to X out of there and back in our work area we're going to update defaults so from here I'm just going to put in a section. I already put in a beam before, but now I'm just going to put in an HSS and see if it will app append to the HSS. Just a little test that we're doing right now. So I will expand the steel. And let's look for the new material that we added. Let's scroll across all and scroll down where is it and there we go and that's how you add a new material to an object in advanced steam